Most people come to America to attain success, but George Papastamatio already was a successful artist with his own studio in Athens, Greece, when he made his way to Michigan in the 1980s. In 2006, he moved to Massachusetts and opened up Byzantine Artworks LLC with his wife, Bruna. She's uh, very talented, not because she's my wife, but this is one of the reasons why I marry her, her talent. He's kidding, of course. The studio has worked on churches around the world, and their work has been exhibited at the Vatican. It's a family business. Even their teenage son pitches in. George's father was an artist in Greece, and his brother is an artist. The tradition continues. The unique thing who you see here is we do a little bit of everything for the Greek church's decoration. We do mosaics, we do iconography, we do restorations in portable icons and in the buildings. What is also unique about George's career is that he was the first person to allow women to work in his shop in Greece. Before, they don't allow women to paint Byzantine icons, but uh, the Archbishop this time in Greece was uh, open-minded to this, and he gave me the blessing. But how is an icon made? To create an icon, we follow the tradition and we try to figure out uh, where to find the better pictures of the existing uh, icons. Uh, we make the, we do the design after we prepare the wood. We do the design, we prepare the surface for the gold leaf because most of the time the Byzantine icons, they have gold leaf background. And after we paint the icon, follow the system who the uh, old artist teach us, and we follow the same uh, tradition. And don't forget mosaics. Bruna said she's already been working on this project for a month and a half, and it's far from done. But with pieces this small to work with, it's no wonder why. As for the future for Byzantine Artworks, LLC? And I think the future of uh, our work is mosaics and restorations. Because the buildings in America, they are uh, from 100 to 50 years old. And uh, because of the uh, weather here, the building suffering too much. And we have to go every 10, 20, 30 years to make uh, cleaning, restoration, uh, and fixing. But this isn't just a job for George. This is his passion. Doing an icon or decorate a church, if I go in, I feel like uh, I have another baby. I have one son, I think I have another baby. Now, sometimes you feel a little bit uh, uncomfortable because you see a few mistakes because nobody perfect. And every time you finish, uh, and I talk to some of my artists and we discuss this, say, George, you don't have to worry because nobody perfect, only God. For Catholic TV, I'm Kate Andrews.